Hi everyone, this is my run on the Despair Gathering nearby, Chaos Challenge Fight featuring Shinryu and Sephiroth. And I'll just be quickly going through an overview of this fight and my party setup before we head into the battle. So very similar to the very recent Despair Gathering Afar Chaos Challenge, this fight has one wave only, comprising of the same Shinryu. And this time, instead of X Death, uh, you have Sephiroth. And Sephiroth has some notable attacks that you need to watch out for. Firstly, he has the Black Materia attack, which is similar to your Sephiroth's EX ability. Uh, and you can tell when he's about to use this because Black Materia is the only attack in his arsenal that uh, targets all. So if you see Sephiroth targeting all, you know that his next attack will be Black Materia. And how it works is that it will increase his Brave, but before he launches the HP attack, it will absorb 20% of your party's total Brave and will unleash it back to you as uh, HP damage. So ideally, you want to be at very low Brave uh, count when he uses Black Material. And Black Material will never break you, so even if you are at zero Brave, uh, it, it won't break you. And being at zero Brave is actually ideal for this attack because then uh, it will absorb zero Brave from you. In the fight, uh, there are times when I ate a full Black Materia, meaning that my party had about 30-40k Brave and he absorbed 20% of it. Uh, even then, uh, once unleashed back, it deals about 10,000 HP damage per character. So it is technically tankable and the damage scales down the less Brave that you have. The other attack that you should watch out for is Octa Slash. And unfortunately, it's a, bit, a little bit difficult to predict when he will use this attack. Uh, it will bring him out of break state, and like your Sephiroth, it does about it a uh, melee brave attack, followed by an HP attack. If it doesn't break you, it doesn't do a lot of damage. If you get broken by Octa Slash, it deals about 10 to 12,000 HP damage to a single target character. So to last in this fight, uh, you want to keep an eye on who Sephiroth is targeting and essentially have at least one person in your party who can constantly top off your party's HP. As long as you're near maximum health, uh, you shouldn't be able to, to die from any of the attacks. Of course, the, the exception to this rule is Ardin, who HP doesn't matter because he, he can't die anyway. Um, Shinryu, as I mentioned, is the same, and his most notable attack is Air Drive, which will always deal about 7000 HP damage, assuming he comes from a broken state. Uh, 7000 HP damage to each party member. So, still. I guess a, a, a sizable chunk of your HP but again as long as you have someone topping off HP damage done uh, after you, you take HP damage you should be fine for this fight. Now the difference with the X Death Chaos Challenge this time is I used the reset instead of Maria and my thinking going into this is that um, uh, Lily set can't actually break uh, with her skills and therefore I wanted to save bricks for Ardin so that I can fully abuse his uh, free turns follow up. Uh, the drawback though with Lily set is that all her skills battery the party which would be dangerous uh, when you think about black materials. So. You, need, you just need to play around that, uh, but even then you'll see in a fight, uh, even if you don't manage to use up the brave that you get and you eat a full black material, you should be able to survive if you have close to full HP. 
Um, even if I use Maria instead of Vivi set, the problem is still there because Maria also have party battery built into her kit anyway. So I don't think it makes much of a difference with uh, Maria uh, otherwise. Um, my Renoa and Ardina are full 3-3. Three, three. And my Lily set is at 1 out of 3 realization. My Ardina at this point still has uh, terrible artifacts. And in fact, I think for the fight, I forgot to... Yeah, I forgot to equip one of his artifact passives, but uh, that really wouldn't matter anyway. The summon I used is uh, Odin, uh, largely for the attack buff because your HP will definitely fall below 80% uh, at some point in the fight. Uh, otherwise, Leviathan is also another good option because you can get Leviathan's uh, framed buff for the Grave region. Which, which stacks very nicely with Renoa's Brave Region and the bonus about Leviathan is that the speed down also stacks nicely with the speed down granted by Lily Set. So Leviathan uh, is also another notable option for summon in this Chaos Challenge. So with that said, let's head into the fight. See you there. Okay, so with Ardin in virtually all fights, you always want to start with him using Warp Strike to build more stacks of his Spectral Charge. You want to reach 5 stacks as soon as possible. Uh, so ideally, you want to start the fight with Ardin, the first uh, character to make a move so that he can break both Shinryu and Sephiroth with his Warp Strike, as you can see here. After that, get into his LD as soon as possible so that you can get the overkill buff. With Renoa, the strategy that I used is to use her EX every time it's up. When Shinryu and Sephiroth is targeting Ardin or Lilyset and not about to launch HP attacks, I have her, I try to have her in the angel wing state so that she can maximize on DPS. But once uh, they target Renoa or say the party has taken HP damage, I then switch out of angel wing and use Angelo cannon uh, to heal the party. And with Lily said, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you just want to keep an eye on the debuffs and use her central dance to inflict the debuffs on uh, the enemy party uh, and very notably her, her first skill to inflict speed down uh, and try to keep speed down active at all times on the enemy party because it does help to keep the fight much more manageable her Central Dance also grants a generic Max Brave up to the party, which uh, Ardin can fully appreciate. Uh, and the thing to note is that because of Ardin's consecutive turns, he tends to run through the Max Brave up buff pretty quickly. So if he runs out, you can just uh, reapply it again with Lily Set. As you can see here with Ardin, I was also a bit more conservative with skill users. If I can break a, a, an enemy with Ardin and he has uh, a significant amount of brave, for example, after being battered by Lily Set, I usually use his HP plus plus attack to break, so that I get a consecutive turn after that, and I use one of his skills during his consecutive turn. So if Ardin's EX is ready but the enemy party has Brave, don't rush into using his EX. His EX comes with a free rebreak. So ideally you want to use one of his attacks on the enemy first to get some damage in, cause a break. Uh, you, you get the consecutive turn and then after that you if you use his EX, uh, it will cause a rebreak. So this helps to push enemy turns back. Uh, and give you more turns to, to bring in the, the damage.
So right over here, Sephiroth uses Black Material. Rodin is at zero Brave, so therefore only Lily Sets and Renoa's Brave gets absorbed. And the party took about 5000 HP damage each. Right over here, I eat one of Sephiroth's Octus, Octus Slash, and it actually broke the really set. Uh, it deals uh, that about ten thousand HP damage, so it, it shows that uh, Sephiroth's attacks really aren't too dangerous here, so long as you keep your party at near maximum health. Because with Synergy Boost, your party should have close to twenty thousand HP, so taking ten thousand hit only does about half your HP and you can easily heal back after that. The fight really only gets dangerous if you delay your heals and you take uh, HP damage after HP damage. It, there should be time for you to heal. The HP damage tends to be spaced out in, in this fight. Sephiroth doesn't do Black Material or Octo Slash all that often. So really I, I think with healer in your party such as Renova, Alphinaut or Maria, you really only put yourself in danger if you delay your heals in favor of other attacks. So right over here, it's about to be the enemy's turn. They have Brave and the Shinryu is about to use an HP attack. Because it's targeting all, so I, I decided to summon because Lily Set doesn't have brief shaving capabilities built into her kit. So it is one of the drawbacks of bringing Lily Set in place of Maria. But uh, again, that the trade off is then you get to use Ardin to break the enemy units and get free turns from there.
So just like what I'm doing here, always keep an eye on Ardin's overkill buff. If the enemy is targeting him or you see they're about to launch HP attacks, you do not want overkill buff to wear off because obviously he will then die from the onslaught of HP attacks. So that's why here I refreshed his overkill buff. And although the enemy party is targeting Ardin, I could have gotten a few turns of HP damage in if Rinoa's uh, Angel Wing plus plus attack. But like I mentioned, uh, my party is hurt and I don't want to leave them in a damage state for too long because that's where the danger comes in. So I forego the damage in favor of using Angelo Cannon to heal. Lilyset also has a self healing built into her kit if you use her HP++ plus plus, uh, uh, attack, it actually heals her for a slight amount of, of damage, which I guess helps as well, uh, coupled with Rinoa's HP region effect. So here again I find myself in a situation where Ardin is being targeted and since my party's HP is near max, I took this opportunity to go into Angel Wing state with Rinoa and use her Angel Wing HP attack to deal some nice chunks of HP damage. Between the two targets, I think Sephiroth is certainly the more dangerous one just due to Black Materia. And so if you want to play it safe, uh, you can try to burst down Sephiroth. Shinryu will not enrage if Sephiroth dies. So that, that is one valid strategy. I, I decided to try to kill both together just for turn efficiency. Because if you leave both alive, you can then maximize on Splash and AOE HP damage. Uh, it is a bit more risky but the trade-off is that if you can last till the end you, you finish the fight with a lower turn count overall. Okay, so here I found myself in a dilemma. I know Sephiroth is about to use Black Materia, but I really wanted to apply the debuff, so I took the risk and used Sensual Dance. And then here I ate a full Black Materia, and it does only 10,000 damage. So it's, it's really proof here that Black Materia isn't too dangerous as long as you keep your party topped up in health, and you don't have to worry too much about it absorbing your, your party's brief. Uh, and just you know go ahead and use reset uh, skills accordingly of course if your party's hp is kind of low 
that in that uh, situation you want to use Ruby's has HP attack to deal damage. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, though, even her HP attack has a party battery built in, uh, but it will be, of course, less battery compared to using one of her skills. So, Black Material will deal less damage because of that. And pretty much that's it. So, in the last few minutes of the fight, we'll be fast forwarded just to save the length of the video. And that's it. As always, if you enjoy the video, do leave a like, subscribe, or leave a comment in the comment section. I'll see you in the next Chaos Fight. Until then, bye bye.